This is the Scottish Home Service. Once again, we bring you The McFlannels by Helen W. Pride. This episode is called Uncle Matter Clocks In. Where's the cushion first? I want to put it behind your head, Dad. Oh, for the love of Mike, don't fuck. Oh. You'd think I was away in a pram. Would you not like to give me a suck of a feeding bottle? <laughs> I just wanted to let you know I was glad you were better again. Oh, my goodness. I was only off my work a couple of days. No, a couple of years. Here, what's up with the clock? It's ten minutes slow by my watch. What have you been there with? I never touched it. Well, it never went slow before. Oh, I'll need to hear a look at it. Where do your mother belong? Oh, it depends on the length of the queues, I suppose. Why? Oh, I don't want to venture be mucking a mess. Here, what's come over you two? You're like a pair of lovebirds since she came out of hospital, Dad. Here, if that clock's slow, I'll have to hurry. I'm going out. Nah, I think I'll risk tucking the cloak down after the war before your mother comes back. Where's the stage? They're in the lobby, press, but there's no time to fetch and carry for you. Oh, there's the bell. Now, if that's visitors, you'll just have to entertain them yourself. Oh, well, I want you to the door and see. I can't go with this bandage in my head. Okay. Oh, Come on, come, Martha. Mm. Yeah, just come up, up to see who you here. Oh, he's a lot better. Here's Uncle Matt, Dad. Oh, hello, Martha. Come in, come in. Who are you, Willie? Well, I'll leave you two alone, Dad. I'm going out. Uh, right you are, Maisie. Uh, tell him I was asking for him. Tell who? The chap you want to meet. Oh, Dad, you've got a one-track mind. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, man, sit down. Here, take off your bonnet and mark your slight hem. Oh, I'd have made a hem if I was to take off my butt. Oh, here, my court. He's, he's bored me something terrible. Well, oh, take off your bits if you want to. See, there's no one, and I'm used with bad smells at the work. Did you hear I'd met one accident? Oh, I, I just said to the wife, I'll have a look for a daughter and cry at will as the bag good, but... Oh, I just turned back after I was half roads here. My car just gave me jet. Oh, do you tell me that? Well, I was in the infirmary. Uh, oh, that's how. Oh, nobody's got any idea the agony my car just gives me. I've never seen my big tail in next year. Oh, that's a relief. I'll just take the oil off for my... Ah, uh, uh, it was a rabbit that fell on my head. I had concussion. And that's your da. Well, I would you like to think a rabbit dropped in my car? I've got ten of this, all of this fit. I wish there's a shammy leg it. We try to see if Walker on it. Uh, <laughs> you're a nice shammy leg it, Martha. I have to get this bandage off on Monday. Oh, uh, badger, da. Well, I offered a bandage of this corn here for six weeks. Oh, that's never better. Oh, I can see better now. Oh, corn is a terrible tribulation. You tell me that. You should have seen the corn I've got on the top of my head where the rivet dunt at me. Here. Is your clock stopped? No, but it's ten minutes slow. I was just going to take it down for the eyelet when you come in. They are rocking your horn. I don't think about clocks. I I've just finished sorting in for a man in the work. Oh, is it keeping time up? Oh, well, after all, you can't expect a slap-up job for just ten shillings. Oh, well, uh, I'll get the steps to the lobby press. Can I help you, Willie? No, no, no. You hear, it's just style that your clock needs no, so you didn't be cutting in only ten shillings for me. Oh, here we are then. Here, watch the I open the steps. Where are we going to lay the dock? On the table there. Here, you take your bonnet off it. I can it's greasy, but it's not that kind of grease I'm perfecting on the cloak. Now, here, see the horn. Right. That's the worst of the wall cloaks. They're sick and bother to start doing when anything goes wrong. Okay, well, I've got her. There we are. She's on the table. Uh, now, you hide off, Martha. I can manage this myself. And uh, where's the machine now? Ah, uh, we take part of it off there, Willie. You should try it, Willie. Willie, Willie. You should have put the dark face down so it's out of work. I'll just turn that over. Here, if you touch that clock, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it to your chest tail. I can't even see the machine now, but here's an old malt bottle full of something. It smells like paraffin, I. There's a label on it. What was that you were saying about cotton wool? Oh, hey. Oh, don't look at me like that, Willie. 
What's the bath for? I, I was just turning the room so we could get the works. Oh, help, there's glass all over the place. I oh, hope I don't get on here, me, me and my dog, so. Oh, you're the shirt and stomach matter. I tell you to lay a lead. Well, that'll cost you the ten bob you were talking about. What for? For a new glass man. Here, start at the road till I get this swept up. Oh, 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 o
I'll just call my back. Ah, but what about the paraphernalia socks, man? Uh, will I get you a clean pair? Oh, no, no, I need time for luxuries. I'll away him first, and I'll get my tea, and then out to the bar. I'll be back here at half past seven. Well, there's a quid and a ten bob note. And if I'm not here when you come back, you'll carry them back in the infirmary. Uh, what way? Uh, Cheryl will have given me another batch of the heat with her feather's cloak. Here, see if you do. That paraphernalia's making my feet feel better. <laughs> I knew your horn's grease for by. See, I'll be in grand fettle for the job. Uh, if I hadn't this bandage on my head, I would come with you. I've just got to keep an eye on you. Do you not trust me with your money? Oh, it's no the money that's worrying me. It's the way you'll spend it. Well, I'll give you my word for it, will I? All right, yeah. You Here's your money. You're lucky to be getting away before Sarah comes in. Oh, do you think I would uh, be better for to uh, no come back? You'll come back, my man, cloak and all. And don't spend any more than you can help. No, no. No penny more than something, Bob. Three pounds. Oh. You have to pay for your work, eh? Oh, that's right. Aye, three pounds. Aye. Well, so long. No, it's yourself, Sarah. Here. Take this basket out of my hands. All oh, these cues. By the way. I met your brother Matt tearing down the road at an awful rate. Was he here? Aye. And how much was he up for the land of this time? Oh, he went me up for the land of now, and he came to ask for me. My goodness, what's been going on here? The floor's all wet. And what's the clock doing on the table? Oh, well, you see... Oh! We're... Oh, my, what's that I tramped on? It's glass. Where did it come from? Well, you see, it was like this. Willie, what have you and that brother of yours been doing? If you'd just let me explain. I was going to ail the clock. It was going slow. Don't and... tell me the glass is off the clock, please. Ah, uh, but uh, I'll never be missed from the clock's hanging up in the water. Oh, Matt, where did this water come from? Oh, it's no water. It's Paris and oh. If you would keep your dusters in a place where folk could see them, I'd have had it dished up with this thing. And um, is that a dish towel you've got in your hand? Oh, well, it was my father's clock. Oh, don't agree ahead. I'm awful sorry. Matters are all for a new mainspring. It'll be as good as new again. What? So there's more than just a broken glass? Oh, well, it's awful hard not to give you a row, really, it is. Oh, Sarah, go on. Give the row just the same as you used to. I could have stood in this honeymoon racket much longer. If it had been anything but a poor dead father's clock. Ah, uh, no, I'm awful sorry, Emma. Matt, I'll be here after tea time, uh, and we can get it sorted. Oh, well, we'll see. What are you smiling at? <laughs> I'm minding about your Martha, stoking about his stoking souls, trying not to jag his cords with a glass. What is there? I wish you could have seen him. Oh, it's nothing to laugh at, so it's not. Well, I must have shut the same. It's after half past seven. Did you give him any money, Dad? Aye, uh, thirty, Bob. Well, if you didn't, you'll never see us again. Oh, but uh, maybe a wee bit further, but uh, he's honest enough. Further? What on earth is that, Dad? You mean to tell me you don't know what further means? What did they learn you at school? Teach, Dad. What did they teach you at school? Me? I was teach not to ye up cheek to my father. Oh, oh that'll be him at last. Imagine, Imagine that. that. <laughs> and another thing I was teached at school was not to make a fool of folk behind their back. <laughs> Peter, you go. Ach, Mum. Oh, oh, my goodness. Well, you need to give me a hand with this cloak, Peter. Oh, no, what a nest. Oh, it sounds as if they're bringing in the body. What's going on here? Easy on there, Peter. Okay, brother. Yeah, I hate that bender to get out of the kitchen door. Yeah, well, don't shove the heart. Oh, yeah. Nothing, McFlannel. What's this you're bringing in here? Just a minute, Sarah. Right. Hey, Peter. Ah, let's get it in your head. Easy, then. Ah, that's right. Now walk around, walk around, walk around. Right. There. For Pete's sake, it's a grandfather clock. Willie, did you tell him to buy that old thing? Oh, I did not. Hey, Martha, what's the idea? Oh, just a minute, Willie. I'll tell you after I've run up the water clock. Come on, Peter, keep the horse. The water clock? Uh, hey, hey, Martha. Here, hide your horses. What are they all doing the stairs? What the breeze is that? Well, I've always wanted to collect antique furniture, but this clock's worse than a ruin. Willie, that brother of yours should be locked up. What do we 
want a grandfather's clock, and, and such a shabby one, too. Well, you see, the idea was that uh, if he could get an old cloak with a mainspring in it, we could take it out and put it into his father's cloak. But I don't see where the uh, wax cloth comes as in. As far as I'm concerned, the wax cloth isn't coming in. Mother, look, this cloth's worse. Oh, oh, dear. It's not safe to have it in the house. It'll ruin the rest of the furniture. Oh, we can break it up when we've got the mainspring out. But, Dad... Are you sure the mainspring of a grandfather clock will fit a wall clock? Oh, stop arguing. We'll just hit him make it fit. Away you go, Willie, and tell him he's not to bring any wax cloth in here. Who can I? Me no will. Maisie, you go. Oh, ah, here they're coming. Oh, I just hope the neighbours aren't watching. Hey, Martha, you can just take that down the stair again. We're no need of any wax cloth. Oh, can you do that, Willie? I'll set the man away with Barra. Barra? What can I? Aye, well... You see, I could have carried that big cloak and a roll of wax with myself. I, and they wouldn't let me on the car with them. So I just asked one of the chaps at the barrows to help me. Oh, dear. What will the neighbours think? A barrow at the close? Well, what was the idea of getting wax cloth anyway? Well, you see, you give me 30 bob. And I managed to get this dandy cloak for a quid. So I ten shillings left, and this is a real bargain. Eh? Look, isn't that a broad part for me? Oh, eh, for eh? goodness sake. Peter, have you seen it? <laughs> it looks like a bad accident to a zebra. Oh, <laughs> but you and me was gone half us for the cloak. You didn't need to spend the hell 30 bob. That's 15 shillings you owe me. 15 shillings? Come but, on, what? see. Just a way back to the barrows with the wax cloth. Just no like it. We don't like it, and we don't need it, and we're not having it. Some kids might like it for making a back court ten. <laughs> <laughs> that broad part for I'll take it home first. The wife of the real could get that in the flare. Ah, right, you are, then, Martha. That'll be 25 shillings, then. Eh? I can't even know that. Aye, but it is. I'll give you 30 bob, then. Aye, uh, but... Uh, and you spent 30 bob. Aye. And we were going half a dozen, that, Aye, right? but Wallace... Ah, you right, then, you'll be 15 bob, but you're keeping the watch, because that costs 10 shillings. 10 shillings and 15 shillings is 25 shillings, isn't Aye, it? Aye, but hey, wait Talk a minute. Talk about the three cats, uh, Listen, oh, Dad. Oh, you're paying half. Oh, shut and up, uh, Peter. We'll hon all the 35 bob matter. Mark, he's the man of shillings for Lenny's barra. Mm -hmm. Well, half a shilling six was that 25 and six you owe me now. Come on, Uber. But Willie. Dad, whoever you teach that kind of arithmetic. You had your tongue, Maisie. Come on, Martha, 25 and six. Well, that, that means you're getting the clock for, for four and six. Doesn't it seem right somehow? Oh, Willie, for goodness sake. See. I'll tell you what, we'll split the difference. And uh, look, Dad, you gave him 30 shillings. Oh, listen, Peter, put it down in right. paper. And that would be the best thing. Oh, my in. head well, uh, splitting. Listen, Martha, if you'll only take that wax cloth away, we'll see nothing about half of But I want my money. Dad, look at it this way. Ah, oh, shut see. up. You got me off from it. Uh, I'll tell you what, you give me the 10 shillings for the wax cloth, Martha. I will see any more about it. What about my time and expenses got the bar in? Ah, another word now. Might you buy back a clock as well. Come on, clear out. You and your watch for Well, here's your money. You're lucky to be getting a broad grand for the clock like that for a quid. I'll get away then. See him out, Peter. Right, Mum. I'll not feel safe till he's away. So long then. Good night, Uncle Good night. Good night. Ah, well, let's see the guts of this old clock. Stone it the road, Maisie. So I get her turn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thanks a lot. Aye. Just what I thought. There's no main spring in it. A badge of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to Uncle Matter Clocks In, another incident in the lives of the McFlannels by Helen W. Pride. The cast was as follows. Willie, John Morton, Sarah, Meg Buchanan, Maisie, Jean Stoddart, Peter, Arthur Shaw, Uncle Matter, W.H.D. Joss. The producer was Howard M. Locust.